Hello world, I'm Rich, and it's Rich's World Beer Tour. Out with Pete again, round two for Thanksgiving. So, uh, Pete's got a little gem here. I've never even seen this. Uh, Pinot Suave. Reminds me of Rico Suave. From our friends at Deschutes. From our friends at Deschutes, Bend, Oregon. A Belgian style mm -hmm. ale with Pinot Noir grapes. So they brewed it with the Pinot Noir grapes. Then it aged in French oak barrels. This one was bottled on April 25th of 16. So this is one of these nice wax ones from Deschutes that uh, usually they say drink after a certain date. They want you to age it. This one they just give you the date, so it must be fresh out of the barrel. 11.8% ABV. Yeah. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> uh, French Pinot Noir barrels with Pinot Grape Must. The result notes the result, notes of pinot grape, berries, and fruit, along with light malt and hint of caramel. We don't even need to drink this. You've already got the review. <laughs> you don't like caramel, do you? I shouldn't have read that. I hate that. Uh, <laughs> I love caramel. I taste it in every beer I drink, apparently. <laughs> Just about. Just about. <laughs> wow. 11.8. Do you think we're going to get any head? Oh, I was going to say, some of these don't. Yeah, that's a pretty color. I like that color. Nice kind of root beer, cola, brown. A little off-white, uh, slight tan head that is watching that. Watch that dissipate while Pete pours his. That's just giving it up. Yeah. It's a pretty, it's a pretty beer, wow. no doubt about it. There is a little bit of a purpley, reddish color in it. Just a little. A little. Was, yeah, you know what? Yours more than mine. Yeah, a little bit um, of color there. Mine's more kind of a, a flat root beer. I get the uh, the oak. Big barrel time, in it. big time. I was gonna say there's some mustiness to it, or uh, but I'm I'm getting that because they use the word must, and it. Yeah, that's the. There's not the a lot of. There's not a huge flavor, or not a huge nose to it. No, a little caramel, little um, oak that barrel. Oak. Yep. I just had some strong <laughs> cheese. <laughs> I'm just tasting Thanksgiving. Darn it! All our hors d'oeuvres. Let's dive in. Wow. Give it a it try. Smells good. Cheers. It does. Yep. It's not huge. Cheers. Not a huge nose, but Ooh, lively. There's that Pinot grape. Big time. And lighter, lighter body. Yeah. It. Uh... It looks a little wine-like in the glass to me, mm -hmm. actually. Pinot grapes are the big thing. As I talk and breathe, that's where I get that caramel. Yeah. At the end, that caramel note, a light lingering. There's a top of the tongue, roof of the mouth, um, acidic, kind of wine-like, um, but that's the alcohol. I'm getting the top of the front and top of the tongue, alcohol. Um, which isn't, it's not overpowering. None of it is. Everything's no. real delicate. Yeah. Um, real light, real delicate. Uh, nothing big. And I would say very balanced in its sweetness, bitterness, grapiness, oakiness. Everything seems to be pretty well. I get a little bit of oak. I get more oak on the smell than I do um, on the flavor. For me, it's, it's all about the grape. And finishing with the caramel. It's those two flavors are mixed well, they're light. The biggest component for me is the alcohol. I, I feel the alcohol and I feel it the warming. It's not overpowering in flavor. The flavor those two other flavors are very delicate. But, but the it's alcohol very present, is the alcohol it? is present. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm warm. Now this is a uh, seven month old beer right now. So in a couple of years, I wonder what old Rico Suave is going to, you know, <laughs> taste like. Is some of that stuff going to tone down? Is that alcohol going to mellow um, a little bit? I lightly taste the oak where I smelt it yeah, more it, pronounced. It, yeah, it's it's definitely there in the background. Yeah, as I breathe, there's there's this caramel. This is a real nice beer for a day like this. A little cooler day, uh, you know, nice Minnesota day here. The snow's already fallen and. Um, 
I could see having this around a campfire or something. Just, uh, you know, a nice little sipper. Um, and here she comes. So, ah! <laughs> our, turkey's our here. man turkey is here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, you know, I, I'm going to go 8.5. I like it. It's not big, big, big on my list, I, but I really like the beer. It's well constructed and well put together. It's, it's too delicate uh, flavors for you, I no. think, is what it comes down yeah, to. Well, like the I like bold, to be hit in the head with yeah, a brick. Big, but bold flavors. No, it's a good beer. 8.5, I feel bad. Uh, you know, I, I tend to rate beers a little high. 8.5 is still a damn good beer. Yeah. It's a nice beer. And I, I wouldn't be far off. Okay. So that's, yeah. No, a really, it's well. a really good beer. Deschutes... I, I can't say as I've ever had a beer from Deschutes that's been bad. I mean, whether they're the waxed ones or regular, just kind of their everyday beers. The quality brewer. Um, if you can find this, especially, I wouldn't even call this even close to a sour or anything. There's, there's a little sourness from the grape, but um, just a really well barrel-aged beer. Um, the Pinot Suave. Pinot Suave. Hopefully you're seeing that. I'm having a hard time seeing into the lens today. Um, from Deschutes, Belgian style ale with Pinot Noir grapes aged in French oak barrels. It's another great beer from Deschutes. Thanks for sharing us another one with us, world. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Pete.